Well, what's up again? Just uh, working on this 70 GTX right here. Give you a quick look at it. Yep, had to replace a lot of metal on this thing. And luckily for us, there is a company called AMD, which reproduces the metal for these things. And you know, it, luckily there is that company, but sadly, sometimes they fit like absolute ass. So, I'll show you the dilemma I have at the moment, which I've had some already, but currently, this is the trunk extension. As you can see, it's not exactly shaped to follow the uh, trunk pan. Part of that could be transport, because all this shit comes from fucking China on a tugboat. So, that might have got smashed in transport, but regardless, it ain't right. So, I need to shrink that one and probably by the time i shrink that it's going to raise this to the point where i'll have to stretch that one so i'll have to shrink and stretch and then as you can see here the, the, what the fuck that is big ass gap so before i modify anything right here i need to uh well see i can't really pull this too far forward because we're already good right there so i don't really want to change that so what i'm gonna to have to do is lengthen this so i'm gonna to have to cut and lengthen just to get it to line up to that as you can see that's just clearly the fuck off but uh you know we, and we already had the quarter panel on the side and it checks out good the other or no, the other wheelhouse was a total clusterfuck it did, wasn't shaped correctly, didn't fit worth the shit, the, the, the dowel pinholes didn't line up, or the centering pins. Nothing, it, it was just a clusterfuck. So we had to cut it, modify it, and all this crap. At least now, that side is the same measurements as this side now, which also is the same measurements as the other 70 up front. So, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and start fucking with this. Keep up. All right, back on the Giddix. The uh, quarters aren't horrible. Uh, it doesn't quite line up perfect here. So I'm gonna have to stretch that radius there so that way it'll have the same radius as the quarter panel and the uh, uh, deck filler panel. I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch the uh, um, deck filler panel. And typical problem with all repop quarter panels the corner or the edges are never as sharp as the originals especially right there that's that's not even an edge that's more of a radius up in there so i gotta i gotta i gotta turn that into an edge this is too long or that's too long in here so i gotta cut that and pull that up in there so that way this will all sandwich back up in there the quarters are actually on here perfectly square measured all the way from the front so front to back both quarter panels are the same number and measured uh, crossways off of the oh, the front door pillars. The, uh, this deck filler panel is perfectly square. The trunk lid's perfectly square. And if you look at the quarter panel, that's a nice gap all the way up. And if you look at the front part, it's a pretty even gap all the way up front. That one here we can fudge a little bit. I'm not too worried about that, but actually it's pretty i just call it even front to back or, but this one here the it starts off at eighth inch just like the other side but it opens up as it goes to the front so it's quarter inch up there eighth inch back here and you know i measuring crossways this quarter panel does need to go over oh about eighth inch but you know if i pull this over it's gonna fuck with the uh, deck filler panel just a little bit it's just uh i'd rather keep the gaps tight you know because that's eighth inch there this is eighth inch here it just opens up in the front so i think just to keep nice tight gaps because i'd have to pull this thing out because you remember, if I pull this out an eighth inch, that's not going to make this parallel. That This eighth inch is also going to open up that a little bit too. 
So I'd have to pull this thing out quite a ways to get that parallel. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm just gonna cut a line right all the way down to probably, yeah, probably about the edge or well, maybe to where it starts being eighth inch and then just push this whole piece over so that way it's the same and then weld, weld up the gap. That way it's nice tight gaps and everything stays the same. So, yep, I'm gonna get on that. The, uh, this is all just test fitting right now. So I know I need to do that, so I'll do that. I'll shrink stretch the deck filler panel, trim the quarter panels up in the, where it goes up into the uh, roof skin. And then I've got to fuck with the horrible trunk extensions that don't fit worth a shit. Yep, up in there. So, back on it. All right, got the Dutchman panel out of the way. Got my line cut. And you see right here, I measured. It was 7 eighths of an inch. I needed it to be an eighth inch farther over. So I needed that to be one inch. So now that is one inch. You can see I got the gap there now. So we're going to weld that up. And now the gap is good all the way down. You got eighth inch all the way down. So tack this all back up and then I need to fix the radius problem that we have there. You can see that now the corner's in too much. Now I gotta bend that out so that way it matches up with the uh, rear window filler panel. Whole lot of work for something that most people will never really notice. But it's gonna be bitching looking. I guess I'll show you my trick on filling the small gaps like this. It'd be a pain in the ass to try and weld a strip of metal in between there. So what I do is I got a little block of copper here and I stick that underneath and you can actually weld to the copper, but it doesn't stick. So then what it does is it creates a flat surface on the bottom and then it joins the two pieces of metal, just like as you see here. So and then when you look underneath it, it's perfectly flat. You don't have boogers of wire and globbers of shit hanging off the bottom. You just have a flat piece of metal and you know it, you just weld to this and the weld doesn't stick to that. So it basically just creates a flat surface for the weld to like pull up on, kinda. Works great. Oh, back to it. All right, got the gaps all perfect now. Eighth inch all the way down. And then also had to reshape the corner here. So I had to cut it in, I had to cut it across, I think twice. And then, so I can bring that back out so that way it lines up here. So now, as you can see, that's good all the way down. Now I can get on to, I gotta stretch this so that way it has more radius to match the quarter panel. But that's done. All smoothed over. Looks titties. Yep, same thing, eighth inch on this side. All the way down. Perfectly square all the way around. The trunk lid's perfectly square to the whole body. It's been X'd all the way from the, the door pillars. This is perfectly square, so this car should be pretty good. All line up pretty damn good. Well, back to work. 